Welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone's having a great day. Today I have for you a Valentine's Day yardstick door swag. It could also be used as a centerpiece or a garland. These are one of my favorite DIYs. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. It is free to subscribe. I share lots of budget-friendly DIYs, shop with me videos, shopping hauls, and decorating videos. For this DIY, you're going to need a yardstick, and we cut about three inches off of the end of the yardstick, spray painted it outside, let it have time to dry, and drilled a hole in the top of the yardstick to hang it up. You're also going to need a sign, and this pretty love sign came from Dollar Tree. You're going to need some pipe cleaners, and you're also going to need two rolls of the 10 inch deco mesh. And I picked up this Valentine's Day mesh at Hobby Lobby, and you'll also need a solid color and then some ribbon with wire. First, you're going to move down about three inches on your yardstick, take a pipe cleaner, twist it around your yardstick, place it on the left side. Take a second pipe cleaner, twist it around your yardstick, and twist it and leave it on the right side. Take a third pipe cleaner, twist it around your yardstick, and leave it pointing toward the ceiling. And it, the reason I'm using a red pipe cleaner here is that way it's easier to find when you have mesh added. Move down four inches or so, same steps. Take a pipe cleaner, twist it around your yardstick, place it on the left side. Take a second pipe cleaner, twist it around the yardstick, place it on the right side. And take a third pipe cleaner, twist it around your yardstick, and leave it pointed toward the ceiling. I added six sets of pipe cleaners with three pipe cleaners in each set all the way down this yardstick. And remember, we cut off about three inches off of this yardstick. I like to add a little bit of hot glue around the pipe cleaners, that way they don't slide or move. Now I'm taking my solid color mesh, moving down about four inches, then sliding my hand down it to make a poof or puff for the very top of my yardstick. Now I'm going to the top center pipe cleaner, the red one, and just going to push the mesh down to the yardstick, twist the pipe cleaner around it. Then I'm going to fluff my poof or puff, Move down about eight or nine inches and kind of roll the outer edges inward and make another poof. Go to the second red pipe cleaner in the center, twist it around the mesh, and I'm going to repeat these same steps all the way down the center with the solid color pink. And you're only going to need one roll of the Hobby Lobby Valentine's Day striped mesh. If you leave your yardstick full length, then you'll probably need two rolls, but since I cut mine about three inches off of the end, one roll of the Hobby Lobby striped mesh worked out perfect, and I didn't have any left. At the end of the yardstick, I just made another poof or puff for the end so that each end would match and I did make and add an extra pipe cleaner on the end that way it was easier just to make the poof stand up. So here's how it looks with the solid color mesh all the way down the center of the yardstick and I have lots and lots of yardstick door swag garland centerpiece tutorials on my YouTube channel. I even have a playlist that I'll link for you in the description box. Now I'm taking my Hobby Lobby Valentine's Day striped mesh, cutting it at 24 inches, and we're going to make woodland ruffles or cruffles for the sides. And I also added a ruffle to the center on the very top and the very bottom. Now you're going to want your mesh to curl toward the ceiling. Roll one in two or three times, put a chip clip or clothespin on it, 
Go to the other end, roll it two or three times, and then you're going to take your fingers and walk your fingers up the center of the mesh until you get to the other end. Then remove your chip clip or clothespin. Now you have a woodland ruffle or cruffle. Now I'm going to the top left side pressing the ruffle down to the yardstick, going to twist the pipe cleaner around it several times and place the pipe cleaner back on the left side. For the top one and the bottom one, I'm going to put a ruffle in each pipe cleaner on those top and bottom sets. Roll the mesh two or three times, put a chip clip or clothespin on it, go to the other end, roll it two or three times, then take your fingers, walk them up the center of your mesh until you get to the other end. Then remove your chip clip or clothespin. And then we're going to the top right side and we're going to place our ruffle in between the black pipe cleaner on the right, right side. Give it a few twists. And then I'm also going to add a ruffle to the center on this top one. The reason I did not add ruffles to the center all the way down is because one reason is because I have a big love sign from Dollar Tree that's going to be covering it up and that's a second option for making the woodland ruffles or cruffles and here I'm placing it in the center. Next, I'm cutting some ribbon tails at 8 inches, and I probably should have cut them at 10 inches to make them show up a little bit more. And I'm just dovetailing the ends, and this is 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire that I picked up at Sam's Club. I added the ribbon tails. I did the two um, colors, red and pink. I put one on top of the other, pinched them together in the center, and added them to every pipe cleaner. Where the love sign was going to be placed in the center, I did not put the ribbon tails in the center under the sign. I just placed them on the left and right side. And here's how it looks so far, nice and full and fluffy. You'll have to let me know what you think so far. I really love decorating for Valentine's Day, so I'm so excited. I just love red and pink together. Now I'm taking some cable tie mounts or zip tie mounts and I'm just going to place them on the back of my Dollar Tree love sign and then add a little bit of hot glue around them to make sure they stay in place. Then I'm adding a long pipe cleaner to attach my sign to my door swag. You could use floral wire instead of pipe cleaners if you wanted to and I'm just taking the pipe cleaner and threading it through on the left and right side of the yardstick then I'm going to go to the back, twist the pipe cleaner, cut them off short, and fold them down. You can make this for any season or holiday. I am just making mine for Valentine's Day. And also, to hang it up, I'm just going to take some twine and make a loop, and that way I can easily hang it up on my door. Next, we're going to be making a bow for the top and for the bottom. I made a smaller bow 
for the bottom. I did two loops on the left, two loops on the right with the hot pink, and then with the red, I did the same thing, and then I added some pretty Valentine's Day ribbon that I picked up for 40% off when it was on sale at Hobby Lobby. I have lots of bow tutorials on my YouTube channel. I even have a bow tutorial playlist. There's lots of different styles of bows, lots of different ways to tie bows. So if you're wanting a bow tutorial where I go a little bit more slower and talk the way through it, then I'll link my bow tutorial playlist in the description box for you. Now I'm just taking the wires, threading them through the mesh, then going to the back of the yardstick, going to twist the wires, cut them short and fold them down. And there's my little helper, Miss Willow. She's checking everything out. I think she approves of the Valentine's Day door swag. And here's the bow that I made for the bottom. I left the tails longer for it. And then you'll want to trim your pipe cleaner short and fold them down or you can hot glue something cute like a shatterproof Christmas ornament or some Dollar Tree foam hearts or something like that over the pipe cleaners. Yardstick door swags are one of my favorite DIYs because look we started out with a yardstick and now we have a beautiful door swag. I just finished adding some shatterproof Christmas ornaments on top of each set of pipe cleaners. Just be very careful when you use your hot glue. Let it all have time to dry. Then I added some twine, made a loop to hang it up on my door. I think this is my favorite Valentine's Day yardstick door swag that I have ever made. I really love the way the colors turned out and I love the Dollar Tree love sign. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this tutorial, and if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, press that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subscriber. We have lots of fun around here.